Good evening, this is Ali and you're watching TNG News. Hong Kong has announced that it is extending the 21 days hotel quarantine for all new arrivals from abroad, meaning outside Chinese territories. In view of the continued severe global epidemic situation and because of the continuing mutation of the coronavirus, a statement released by the government on March 16, it is necessary for the government to protect the health of the overall community in Hong Kong by firmly guarding against the importation of the new virus variants. The government also said it will maintain its ban on people arriving from extremely high-risk Group A places where virus variant have been found, namely the United Kingdom, Brazil, Ireland, and South Africa. However, taking note that of the drastic decline in the number of cases in these places, notably the UK, the government said it was exploring arrangements that could enable Hong Kong residents there to return home directly without compromising the health of the local community. Those coming in from Group C countries must only comply with the 21 days quarantine requirements and need not to present a negative test result. The regulation provides that all travelers who had stayed in the Group A places for at least two hours on the day of boarding or 21 days before that they are not allowed to board a flight for Hong Kong. Those who stayed in the Group B places within the specified period will have to comply with the testing and quarantine requirements. Those in Group C will only have to show proof of booking for the 21 days hotel quarantine. The only ones exempted from the rigorous testing and quarantine requirements are those coming in from China and Macau. However, they must undergo testing on arrival at the border. The statement said the government will continue to monitor the pandemic situation in Hong Kong and overseas as well, as changes in cross-boundary traffic volume and adjust the requirements when necessary. A Hong Kong-born Filipino man who has pleaded guilty to a charge of raping a Filipina early last year in Luntau will be sentenced at the High Court on April 12. Pending psychologist's report, Mark Angelo Rojas admitted the rape charge last November in Eastern Court and was scheduled to be sentenced Monday, March 15, in the court of first instance. But Judge Douglas Yao in the court of first instance decided to postpone the sentencing after asking Rojas some questions which he said could have a bearing on the cases. In particular, the judge asked the defendant if he was related to the victim and the defendant lawyer said she is a cousin of the wife of Rojas' brother. Yao also asked whether Rojas' family was capable of paying compensation to X. But his lawyer said no, especially since the pandemic has hit the family's finances. The lawyer said Rojas, who was earning only equivalent of 7500 Hong Kong dollars at the time of the offense, was supporting his mother, his longtime partner, and their son who are in the Philippines. He was working in Macau at the time and only come to Hong Kong for visits. In fact, the lawyer said Rojas, mother wanted to come to Hong Kong for the hearing but couldn't afford to travel. And now, let's talk about TNG Wallet. TNG is back on the road. We will be having a pop-up session in Central, Causeway Bay, and Mongkok this coming weekend. For those of you are interested in having your own TNG MasterCard, you may visit our pop-up activation point for immediately activation. For more inquiry, you can call our customer service 39516268 and our office address 20 Floor Olympia Plaza 255 Kings Road, North Point, nearby Fortress Hill MTR Station Exit B. And that's all. Thank you for watching TNG News.